Hi guys. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to speak Hawaiian. And this video series does not require any workbooks. No workbooks. Everything you need is on my videos. I live in Mississippi and my name is Blaine Chapman. And I don't think I'm related to the dogs about me. I'm not sure. I might be. Because um, we're, I think we have this, we're part of the same, because you know they have a lot of Indian in them, and I have a lot of Indian in me too. Oh, my video fell down. Y'all. Ow. Sorry. I didn't trip over that chair. That chair tried to attack me. Okay, that should be better. Anyway, my name is Blaine Chapman, and we're going to get started today on how to speak Hawaiian. We're going to start out with our consonants. Please take notes. It's always good to refer back to them. Um, I'm going to teach you the consonants of the Hawaiian language. If I'm going too fast, please pause the video, and you can write it down. And write it down. And then you play the video, and then we'll go from where you left off. Here's the consonants of the Hawaiian language. Those are all your consonants. H K L M N P W. Um, this is, oh, let's see. Oh, other one. See, I take notes too. Like, see, I'm using these notes. I took Hawaiian, so that's my notes, and I'm referring to these to teach you. Oh my goodness, Blaine, thank you so much for taking those notes so you can teach me. Oh, 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 it's okay, okay? I, I, it's the kindness out of my heart. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, here's your constant space, K-L-M-N-P-W. You also have a, a little sign that stands for a consonant. It's called an Okina. And it looks like that. It's like an apostrophe with a bubble at the end. Let me read all that. I'll kind of make it big. It's like an apostrophe with a bubble. Of course, I just said that, but just so you know. And then it is called Okina. O K I N A. It's Hawaiian because it has. All those consonants, no other consonant. That is called an okina. I'm gonna bubble it because it's special. You're probably thinking, why is it special? Why is that considered a consonant? I'll tell you why. An okina is considered a consonant because it's gonna take place as a consonant. So, like, if you have, like, you wanna say the number 10. You're gonna have, which you'll learn this later on. We're gonna count to a hundred. That's how you'd write it. Ten. Whoops. Fingernails scratched it. There you go. U M I Umi, Umi, and then the Okina because. You're pretty much most of all in the whole Hawaiian language is pretty much gonna be constant vowel, constant vowel, vowel, constant vowel, constant. But sometimes you'll have like consonant, two vowels, consonant, constant vowel. You'll never have two consonants side by side, but we'll get to that. See, this is a consonant. So it's, this is how we're looking in consonant vowel style. This is a consonant. This is a vowel. This is a consonant. This is a vowel. C V C V. Like C V S kind. 
Consonant vowel, consonant vowel. Okina is a consonant. Okay? It just takes the place as one. It's silent. You don't hear it. You just say, umi. But that, that okina is still there. So, that's how you would say that. And I'm going to lay out the rules for it. You know what? I'll leave that right there. There is one rule in the Hawaiian language. No. Clusters. Okay. That means that there will never, ever, 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 ever be two consonants side by side. Like, did you see two consonants side by side? You'll never see that. Like, in aloha, you see A, L, O, H, A. Vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel. No two consonant, consonants will ever be side by side, so no clusters. Write this down and keep that in your notes. That is all your consonants. If I'm going too fast, pause it, review the lesson, and just take notes on it. So, there you go. If that makes sense, you know, just leave something in my comments. If you have a question, I'd be happy to answer it. Um, just leave your question on the comments, um, and I will be, I'll get right back to you as soon as I can, because I check my videos, like, every single day, see if anybody leaves a consonant, a, a consonant, <laughs> a comment, and, uh, I will check every single day to make sure anybody's left a comment, I will check all my videos, because I'm going to have a huge series, so, after I get back, because I'm going to start a huge series, and it's going to take a little bit longer when I start my huge series. So, this is only the first video, so it's going to be a little bit longer to get back to you. But I like to check it most every day. And... I was say go on Instagram, but I don't want anybody going on there following me. Um... Okay, we'll just get back to that, but here's this. Here's your vowels. I'll fix it. These, that's awful. Sorry, I'm just OCD. Everything's going to be perfect. Close enough. Okay, here are your Hawaiian vowels. Oh, sorry. I don't know what is up my iPod. It just keeps going. See if it's falling. Hold on, y'all. That should be better. Okay. Those are all your um, vowels in the Hawaiian language. A-E-I-O-U. Just like you would have in the English language, A E I O U. And then you're also going to have a special thing, just like you have in consonants, but it's different. It goes like this, and it's called a kahako. 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 K A H A K O. And then it needs to stretch the vowel sound. I'll fix it, y'all. It's really getting on my nerves. Okay. A speaker right beside it. Okay, look, I'm gonna set this off my case under it. Since it's both kind of sticky, it won't move. Okay, it shouldn't move. It just 
stretches the vowel sound. I'm gonna bubble it because it's. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna the thing over because usually that makes it. Is this sliding down? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just OCD. But, like, here you go. This is your bubble. The other one, if you want to write for Okina, just say, takes place of consonant. Takes place of a consonant. So, I'm going to show you how to pronounce it. And we'll end the video there. Um, let's see. A is pronounced ah. Like ah, aloha. Ah. Not A, not aloha. Aloha. E is e. Like you'll learn how to say welcome soon. And it'll be e como mai. Not e como mai. E. I is E, like, and E como ma E, it's not me, E como ma I, may I, it's not gonna be like that. O is, O, I'm like, alo, huh? And U is U, O O H. Like, ooh, that must hurt. Like, ooh, like, ooh. <laughs> so, here's your sounds A, E, E, O, U. A E I O U A E I O U. Now, if you have a kahako, you're gonna put like I'm just gonna do this. All right, you have the word pa, and you have ha. The only difference is this has a kahako. This you need to pay attention to. This is gonna stretch the A out. It's gonna go ooh. instead of that's gonna go all the way out. Here we have said pa, you have pa, 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 pa. Okay, and all it does is stretches it out. And I don't think there's anything else for that. Study this, and then we'll come back for the next video, and then. We can just go from there. So, study your notes, and then we'll go on to the next lesson, and we'll soon have a quiz. Aloha!